tonight a very special holiday begins. It's called Chai Elul. As is well known, Chai means life in Hebrew. Every Hebrew letter has a numerical equivalent. We can learn various insights based on a word's total numerical value. This holy math is called Gematria, and the Gematria of Chai is 18, as in Chai Elul. So you see, this coming holiday is aptly named because it occurs on the 18th day of the Hebrew month of Elul. Two great luminaries were born on Chai Elul. The Baal Shem Tov in 1648, who revealed the mystical teachings of Hasidus to the world, and the Alta Rebbe in 1745, the first Chabad Rebbe. Both of these luminaries were dedicated with complete self-sacrifice to learn, share, and celebrate Judaism with happiness, making its esoteric teachings readily available to everyone. They particularly focused on spreading the wellsprings of Hasidus and praying with joy. It is because of their self-sacrifice that in addition to learning the revealed aspects of Torah, we can endeavor to learn the mystical aspects of Torah as well. Through these teachings, we can refine our character traits and cultivate an unbounded love for our fellow and for God. A teaching has been handed down through the generations that Chai Elul is also the beginning of a three-month preparatory period which continues until the great Hasidic holiday, the new year of Hasidis, Yudtes Kislev, the 19th day of the Hebrew month of Kislev, which is shortly before Hanukkah. In other words, Chai Elul begins the period of Rosh Hashanah, the days of awe, to the Rosh Hashanah of Hasidis, the day of joy. This three-month time period is a unique opportunity to focus on our own self-development, our personal refinement depends to a great extent on our spiritual development and strengthening our relationship with the creator of the world. Our divine service of Tishrei, especially on the days from Rosh Hashanah until Yom Kippur, begins in Elul. The actions of our forefathers hold a lesson for us, but not only do they hold a lesson, they actually imbue us with the strength to accomplish what needs to be done, and perhaps especially when we feel that something is beyond our reach. During this very special time period, more than 3,300 years ago, Moshe Rabbeinu pleaded with God on Mount Sinai on behalf of the Jews in the desert on their way to the land of Israel. Through his emotional appeal, Moshe Rabbeinu succeeded in bringing out the 13 attributes of mercy these are God's divine attributes, the very same ones that we read in the holiday prayer book, the Machsor, and say by the open water during Tashlich on Rosh Hashanah. So during this three month period, we can work on ourselves, we can better ourselves, and through refining ourselves, we can endeavor to be more sensitive to one another. After all, bettering the world begins with bettering ourselves. Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak Schneerson, known as the Friedrich Rebbe and the father-in-law of the Lubavitch Rebbe, said that on Chai Elul one can fill one's buckets generously. What does this mean? In order to fill a bucket, we must have a bucket in the first place. The bucket is referring to a vessel to be used to catch God's blessings. God wants his blessing to come down to us via natural means. In other words, the work must come from us. So where do we get this bucket from? We create it. We create the vessel within ourselves. We must prepare ourselves to be a recipient, a container to receive and hold these blessings. We can do this by learning Torah and by doing mitzvot. Nowadays, we have so many means available to us. We have an abundance of material at our disposal, and we don't have to hide and learn as generations of Jews did in the past. We can learn by book or online. We can learn with someone across the world without even leaving the comfort of our own homes. In our times, we can all learn and internalize lofty concepts and we can readily share them too. Just as the famous phrase from King David's son, King Solomon wrote in Mishle, the book of Proverbs, your wellsprings will be disseminated outward. And this sharing should be with kindness and compassion, joy and happiness. The Friedrich Rebbe likens the mystical teachings of the Torah, Hasidus, 
to a cookie, saying, when one sees a cookie, everyone wants some. With that being said, may we all be blessed with success and with long days and years, both materially and spiritually.